In the last video I talked about the extrinsic pathway when you are activating apoptosis which is uh, receptor mediated that receives some sort of death signal and now I'm going to talk about the intrinsic pathway so this is the pathway that is occurring inside and its trigger is usually something like uh, uh, radiation so if you had radiation coming into the cell like ionizing radiation or something like that um, some sort of oxidative stress so something like hydrogen peroxide which is commonly used to induce apoptosis in, in the lab. And then also uh, a lot of times in neurons you might see uh, high calcium concentrations cause uh, apoptosis if there's too much in the cytoplasm. So here I want to talk about this uh, mitochondrial mediated intrinsic pathway. So this is my mitochondrial uh, molecule here. I have a couple of proteins that I've labeled here and I want to explain how this, this pathway will initiate apoptosis. So this, this survival uh, factor that's called a, uh, it's called a trophic factor will bind to a receptor tyrosine kinase and come into the cell. This causes this bad protein to be phosphorylated. So normally bad is phosphorylated because uh, the trophic is bound to the, um, to the receptor tyrosine kinase and then this will keep the cell alive. Um, in the mitochondrial outer membrane, they contain proteins like BACs right here, these two right here, uh, this BCL pro BCL2 and then this BCLXL, and these anti-apoptotic proteins like BCLXL and BCL2 will keep any channels closed. But when BAD loses its phosphate, it will inhibit these two proteins and then the, the BACs channel here will open. So normally these are all kind of associated within uh, close range to each other. Obviously I've drawn them in, uh, in a uh, magnified state here and I wanted to spread them out so we could differentiate them, but this will cause the, when this loses its phosphate, it will open up this Bax channel. Um, cytochrome C will then be released right here. You can see the cytochrome uh, C, which will be released, which will then activate these different uh, these different things like cytoplasmic factors and procaspase 9 as I talked about the extrinsic pathway and then that will activate your your caspase uh, 8 here the um, or caspase 9 um, that is the initiator uh, process and then you have these molecules here which are your execution molecules or caspases that initiate your apoptosis.